Hello guys, welcome back. Have you ever thought of saving electricity? Have you ever tried to buy 5 star energy rider product in order to save money in future electricity consumption? Do you know how much our normal ceiling fan consumes? So many of us are not aware that our normal ceiling fan consumes more power than a 5 star rated 200 liter refrigerator. VLDC fan consumes very less power than the normal ceiling fan. Let's convert our normal ceiling fan to VLDC fan. For that, I am using this VLDC conversion kit. You can check the availability in your local electrical store. If it is available online, I will definitely share the link in the description. The box contains magnet molded in plastic, coil, PCB board, remote and the top cover. My fan's color is brown, so I am not using this. So let's begin the project by removing the fan. After removing the fan, you must remove all the leaves. While removing the leaf, take care not to bend the leaf. Safely keep all the screws that are removed from the fan. Remove the metal pipe holding the motor. Then remove the capacitor. The screw holding the capacitor is required for PCB mounting. Let's remove all these screws. Then lift the cover and remove the coil and the metal ring inside the motor. The spring under the coil is required for assembling. All the removed parts must be kept safely. Method of disassembling will be different for different types of fans. So you should take care while removing all the parts. Also the bearing inside the motor is required. If it is fixed, don't try to remove that. Let's interchange this coil with the new one. The new coil is very light in weight. Let's insert this coil at the top portion to check whether there is any abnormalities. If it rotates smoothly, then the next step is to arrange some spacer. For that, I am using this plastic bottle. Let's cut this bottle and give it as a spacer between magnet and coil so that the coil does not rub to the magnet. The next step is to insert the coil and the magnet and mark the portion that is needed to be cutted and removed. This step varies from one fan to another. After marking, separate the coil and the magnet carefully. While separating, make sure not to damage the coil or magnet. Then, cut the plastic with the axle. Or you can use a cutting machine. While cutting, cut a little bit outside so that we can do fine adjustment if required. After cutting all these legs, I am cutting this projection. As I told earlier, the process varies from fan to fan. So, be careful while following the process. Let's do some fine adjustment with a file or a grinder so that it fits inside the hub perfectly. Let's assemble it and check. If the coil touches the magnet, you can also adjust this by inserting the spacer between the hub, side wall and the magnet. Make sure there is sufficient and equal gap between the coil and the magnet. Let's assemble this back and do a spin test. The motor must spin very smoothly. Let's fix the PCB board. This is the AC input port and this is its IR receiver. The IR receiver must be visible from outside so that the remote can send the signal to the PCB board in order to control the fan. This is a split board so that I am taking this apart. After that, fix this plastic housing on the position from where we remove the capacitor. As I told earlier, you have to use the same screw that was used to fix the capacitor. Then assemble the PCB board and connect the output to the connector of the coil. After that, insert the AC wire through the top cover and screw it in position. Then close the top cover. The IR sensor must be taken out of the hole at the top. After one more cross checking, let's fit the fan. Meanwhile, let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of a BLDC fan. It consumes very less electricity than normal ceiling fan. Instead of a normal regulator, it comes with a remote so that it can be controlled from any part of the room. Most of the remotes has smart features like timer, speed control, forward, reverse, etc. Also, BLDC fan can run very smoothly in low voltage condition. While comparing to normal ceiling fan, BLDC fan produces very less heat. Some of the disadvantages are, it comes with a complex PCB board, which makes it costly to replace and complicated to repair. It's little bit costlier than normal ceiling fan. But when it is familiar in a wider market, the cost will come down. Converting the normal ceiling fan is a very difficult task, but 
you can save some money and you can reuse your old fan without scrapping it. Also, if you are planning to buy a new ceiling fan, try to buy a BLDC fan. The extra cost you pay to purchase can be saved in future electricity bill. If the BLDC conversion kit is available online, I will definitely share the link in the description. But it's better to check with your local electrical store. Don't forget to ask for warranty. Also, you can check the description for link to purchase branded BLDC fan. Please show your support by hitting the like and subscribe button. Also, you can comment your suggestions and doubts. Thanks for watching.